In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create eight options infographic slide in PowerPoint. And this is how the slide works. You can see here I've added a 3D shape here. And when I click the first option comes with a gradient fill color, you can add the option number, title and the detail text. And if you have the icon, you can add the icon here. And then there's a shadow effect. And on my next click on the right side, it will show the option two, then the option three option four option five this is sixth seventh and this is the last option option eight so depending on your requirement you can add as many options as you want for example in the next slide i have added a uh, 10 options here so whichever way you feel better you can add the options if you have not subscribed to my channel subscribe it now and make sure to enable the notification bell icon and also like and share and if you'd like to support my channel you can support it through paypal and patreon the link is provided in the video description section so let's start the tutorial add a new slide go to view enable the guides then go to insert shapes from the rectangle select the rounded corner rectangle draw the rounded corner rectangle according to the requirement and put it exactly in the center align center align middle and shape outline i'm going to give maybe a black color later on i'm going to change the color and go to the shape outline and then weight you can increase the weight you can see here and shape fill make it no fill then right mouse click go to format shape and i'm going to give a gradient fill here select the gradient fill by default you have got four stops so you can delete the one and you can use it uh, maybe two or three so i'm going to select maybe a white color and then here i'm going to select some light gray color and here i'm going to select again somewhat light color so it looks something like this so it is not visible what you can do is either you can just change the direction you know you can see here you can just change the direction something like this and go to effects under 3d format top we will select the first one which is round so you can see it comes something like this and if you want to increase the distance or uh, the width again you can go here and you can increase the width how much width you need you can increase the width you can see here and go on top go to effects and shadows and i'm going to use this shadow offset bottom and if you want to increase the distance, you can increase the distance, something like this. You can see here and increase the transparency level. So this is a one shape ready. Now it's time to add the options. Now it's time to add the options. So go to insert shapes from the rectangles, select the rounded corner rectangle, draw the rounded corner rectangle, depending on your requirement, whether you need six, eight, 10, depending on that, you can just choose the size and shape outline make it no outline and shape fill i'm to go i'm going to give gradient fill you can see here and i'm going to use only two stops and the type should be linear and direction you can see here i'm going to use maybe uh, this one which is the linear right then i'm going to select the first one and go to colors more colors you can give some dark color here and here you can give some light colors go to more colors again and i'm going to give this color combination you can see here and then send this to back so it looks something like this and i'm going to add one more rectangle press ctrl d to duplicate and shape fill maybe i can give some light gray color hold the shift key and reduce the size you can see here and put it something like this you can see here so this also you can send to back and if you want to give a gradient fill you can give a gradient fill for this also let me just give the gradient fill so here i'm going to select some gray color and the other side i'm going to select the white color so you can see here i'm just going to make the white color more so it looks something like this and for this also you can give some shadow effect like this now go to insert shapes and i'm going to select the top corners rounded just draw it maybe this much size shape outline make it no outline and rotate i can rotate right 90 degrees you can see here let me just zoom in and then i'm going to put it here on top of this 
and this also i'm going to give gradient fill gradient fill i'm going to use the same color which is three points or three stops i'm going to use one stop i'm going to make it a black color and the direction you make this one the linear right sorry because we have changed this one so we can use this one you know the linear up and then the second one i'm going to use the same dark color combination and here i'm going to use the light color combination so it so it looks something like this all right so you can see here it gives some kind of a 3d look and if you want to give some shadow effect also you can just give some shadow effect whichever way you want for example i want to give maybe up right left wherever so you can just give the shadow effect so once the shadow effect is given now it's time to add the options or before adding the options what you can do is you can just select this or if you want to do before i'm going to add one uh, shadow effect for this also just go to insert shapes and i'm going to use the rectangle let me just use the rectangle you can see here shape outline make it no outline and shape fill make it uh, black increase the transparency level and go to effects you can see here there's something called soft adjust increase the soft edges all right and then tilt a little bit something like this increase the size you can see here and then send this to back so it looks something like this so again if you want to increase the soft edges you can just increase it so it gives more soft edges look now i'm just going to select all of these press ctrl d to duplicate and just add the other side you can see here how much gap you need you can just align it properly let me just move this one inside also all right and then what i can do is i have to just change the direction of this a little bit something like this and this also i'm going to give a different direction instead of this one i'm going to give the direction from the left side and this one i'm going to bring it here and again this also i can just change the direction which is uh, this one all right and then send this to back this one as well as this one format send to back and even white also has to send to back so because this should has to this has to be visible let me just again send this to back sorry yeah again this also send this to back so you can see here clearly now let me just align it properly so it looks something like this now it's very easy now i'm going to change the color depending on my requirement maybe i'm going to use some dark color combination you can see here some dark teal color with a light teal color all right so this also i'm going to use the same black let it be black this is dark teal and this is the light teal color all right so now it's time to add the details so go to insert shapes select the line i'm just going to add the line here a small line and you can give some gray color and if you want increase the transparency also and go to insert text box you can just put 0 1 option 1 whichever way you want you can put let me just change the font to century gothic make it bold increase the size and if you want to put option steps whatever you can just put beneath this number and on this side you can add the detailed text again this one also i'm going to give some gray color combination same font century gothic reduce the font size and then just add it put it here and if you're using the latest version of powerpoint then you can insert the icons if you don't have the icons then you can just leave this so now what i'm going to do is i'm just going to select this this sorry this this or i can just select this first the line you can see here the line it's somewhat difficult to select the line okay now then select this and this and group this press ctrl d and add this side also all right and this would be 02 now i have to select this and this 
group it the white and the text group this so it has come front again you need to just send this to back all right now it's very easy for me i'm just going to select these two options including the shadow effect press ctrl d so this is maybe the second option third option and this is the fourth and fifth option so we need to just make sure that it is aligned properly so this would be three this would be four this would be five and this would be six all right now depending on the requirement you can change the color for example let me just select here and then i'm going to select some different color combination maybe a purple uh, with the light purple combination you can see here you can just select like this color combination and here also i can use the same dark and light color combination so for this you can just select the darker one maybe a blue one uh, with a lighter blue you can see here something like this and this also i'm going to select both dark and light color here and this is the last one again go here go to more colors maybe you can select a color combination of dark red with a light red or pink or whichever color you feel better you can use it and here also i'm going to select the same color combination so this is how it looks let me just remove the guides so this is how the slide looks now once uh, your text has been added all the effects has been added it's time to do the animation so before adding the animation make sure that the things are perfectly all right so if you can see here uh, let me just zoom in you can see here this one this has to be at the front and this has to go back so what we need to do is i'm just going to select this and hold the shift key and select the the shadow effect go to format and send this to back all right so you can see here now it has come up so like this also i have to just do it and send this to back this also send this to back all right so this also i think that is perfectly i believe but let me just send this to back so it looks something like this now to add the animations go to the animations tab enable the animation pane the first thing i'm going to do is add animation here go to add animations more entrance effect and i'm going to click on stretch and see here stretch click ok and i'm going to make it from left so it comes something like this and then select this one and again i'm going to use the the stretch effect so again i can select this one animation painter click on this and this one you make it from right and this should happen after previous so if i play it comes something like this and again i'm going to use this and i'm going to click the white one and white one also you can see here it comes something like this and for the shadow effect i'm going to give a fade effect fade effect should happen after previous so if I play, it comes something like this. Now I'm going to select this option and apply on the option number two, animation painter. The only thing is this is from the left, you have to make it right. And then I'm going to select this and click on this and this one, it should right, make it from left. And then again, this one also, I'm going to do the same thing, maybe from left and then the shadow effect also like this so if i play it comes something like this so you can apply the same animation effect for the second third fourth and fifth as well as sixth 